when the Blackburn Beverly entered service in 1955, she was the largest aircraft in the RAF. With a huge cargo volume, it was designed for carrying bulk loads and operating from rough runways or dirt strips. She was only in service for just over a decade, and half a century later, this is the only one left. So here we are at the uh, Blackburn Beverly, the uh, XB259 uh, aeroplane. This was a, a transport aeroplane that flew uh, troops and cargo out to Burma. It was built in the 1950s and it's one of around uh, 50 aeroplanes that were built and this is the last remaining one in the world. Downstairs here we've got the, the cargo bay, uh, rear opening doors uh, and then it also had loading ramps so they could drive vehicles in. It's, it's large enough to carry a single decker bus should you wish, and it carries around about 100 troops. Blackburn Beverleys came equipped with a toilet on board, situated beyond the paratrooper hatch. It's said one unfortunate soldier fell to his death on leaving the toilet, unaware the hatch was open. Enthusiasts have raised concerns this last remaining giant might end up being scrapped, making it the first post-war British aircraft with no surviving examples. The Covid pandemic has left many museums fighting for survival, but auctioneer Andrew is optimistic. What do you think it could become? Uh, what could it become? Well, it would make a great Airbnb. Uh, there's been all sorts of people talking about cafes and grand design build opportunities, but uh, I have a feeling that it'll, it will be bought. It will either be a Gate Guardian or another attraction at, a, at another museum or, or, or airfield. Do you yeah. think she could ever fly again? Ooh, how much money have you got? <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.